So up next, we'll be talking about she marries him. And, um, she marries him is actually a very interesting uh, concept. And it's something that you see in day-to-day -day life, but you don't really know that. This is she marries him, and you don't really know that she marries him can also occur in human beings. Okay, so take you guys to the cart. All right, so this is me proving to you guys that you see chimerism every day. All right, so chimerism is basically like um, you having some parts of your body that are mixed. Okay, you having some parts of your body that are not yours. Okay, so now you see that this cat is mostly white. This cat was meant to just be a white cat, but you could see having some brown patches. Can you see having some black patches? Okay, so this entails that these parts of this cat are not his, okay, but could be from the twin cats or could be from the mother. Okay, so let's describe chimerism better. Chimerism, chimera, anything. All right, so in chimerism, there's a donor and there's a recipient, okay, and this recipient will be having their own. I'll be having the copy from the donor, all right? So this is the recipient having a two copy, okay? You'll be having parts of your body that are yours, and you'll be having parts of your body that are not yours, okay? So guys, uh, chimerism, we've discussed the concept, then chimera is actually the person, all right? So the chimera is an ordinary person, except that some parts of their body actually come from their twin or from their mothers. Okay, so maybe they are developing the stomach as a twin, and maybe some parts of the other twin fused with the parts of the other twins, all right? Maybe right from the stage of them, them being a zygote, okay? So you grow up having some parts of your body that look totally different from how your body looks like, all right? That's a chimerism concept. So they may arise from either monozygotic twin Fetuses, that's twins that look alike. Now, it will be impossible to dictate, okay? But from dizygote, uh, that, but from dizygotic um, fetuses, that's dizygotic twins, it can be easy to dictate, okay, by chromosomal comparisons from various parts of the body, all right? So, taking you guys to how a human chimerism looks like. I see, just look at the stomach of this woman, all right? down to the side and down to the side can you see that this side has a different color from this side okay that's chimerism all right now this is the same model though that's the same model that's the same model but i'm sure you guys have seen this all right i've seen some human beings with maybe a fair face and a dark side okay they have a fair half of their face is fair Half is very dark. I, I mean dark like black. Okay? That's how chimerism. All right. So chimerism or mosaicism involves a mutation of genetic material in a cell, giving rise to a subset of cells that are different from the rest. Okay? So natural chimerism is a fusion of more than one fertilized zygote in the early stages of prenatal development, all right? So it occurs mo mostly at the zygotic stage, all right, where um, a fertilized, okay, uh, maybe two or more fertilized zygotes, they are like um, fused together, okay? So you know that they are their um, first week of development where, um, First week of development where even if there's a disturbance, it will be somehow corrected. Okay, so that's why um, chimera is a chimera will grow up, and there will be no problem. All right, even though they have different parts of the bodies that they have like uh, parts of the bodies that are different from theirs. Okay, so guys, that's basically us understanding the concept of chimerism, understanding chimera, mosaicism. Okay natural chimerism okay so guys as it is it's quite a rare thing though quite a rare concept let me not lie to you it's quite a rare one but it's good for you to have all the knowledge as a medical student all right so see you guys in the next tour.